Hey Billy, what are your thoughts on underwater combat? It was the worst feature ever, and it should never return to the series. Oh, that's what you think, huh? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> underwater combat is a mechanic that has only made an appearance in the third generation of Monster Hunter games, those being Monster Hunter Tri, 3, and 3 Ultimate. In my opinion, this was one of the finest things that Capcom has ever added into a Monster Hunter game. In case you haven't played any of those games and you're not really sure how the underwater combat worked, basically in some locations, like the flooded forest, some areas were submerged and to get through them we had to swim underwater. Sometimes we also had to go underwater to hunt certain aquatic monsters, like Royal Ludroth and Lagiacris. After fighting them for a while, they would usually go on land, and we would have to fight them on land, and then they may go in the water again. For example, Royal Ludroth starts out of water, and then retreats to it when it becomes weaker. And Lagiacris starts in the water, but then leaves it to try and escape from the hunter. This way, the environment was incorporated into hunts in a unique and engaging way, and monsters received a whole new depth. Sometimes, if hunting a monster for long periods of time on land got a bit tedious and monotonous, having it retreat to an underwater location was very welcome as it forced us to adapt to a new environment and change the way we approach and attack the monster. Dire Morales is an elder dragon that has only made an appearance in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and it is arguably one of the most unique monsters. Its body is filled with a magma-like substance which pools at the base of the tail, the chest and at each shoulder and can be fought both in the water and on land, frequently changing between the two, probably to regulate its body temperature and cool itself off when it begins to overheat. This is a cool idea and would not have been possible if underwater combat had not existed and there is the potential to create many other awesome new monsters because of this feature, such as ones that only live underwater, like the elder dragon, say Deus, which resembles a giant whale with a beard of fur and two massive horns. Just imagine how epic it would be to fight a giant octopus or squid-like monster. Up to this point, I've only talked about the positive sides of underwater combat, but there are some things that people didn't like about it as well. The controls and moves were slower and the camera control was also sometimes a problem. This made monsters harder to hunt, but I actually never had a problem with this as it would make sense for monsters to be harder to hunt underwater than on land. However, what did bother me was that some monsters attacks felt unavoidable and some weapon types just felt really bad in the water. Therefore, it would make sense for them to rework this feature and make it more fluid. For example, they could add water currents that will allow you to quickly reposition the hunter. I hope I was clear in my reasoning as to why underwater combat should make a return in the series. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Game X Nations is the best channel in the world.